stories you've heard, they don't tell the whole truth. The island is indeed the place of legend. There's power and vast riches as well. But those who've gone before you have simply vanished, never heard from again. I saw the horror, the madness that overcame the crew. It was beyond any evil the world has ever known. How I survived, I do not know. The contents of this box are not of this world. They will guide you to that one, wherever and whatever that may be. Go then, Captain. Charge your course and your fate. I will say a prayer for the souls of your crew. Gosh, this is the craziest character I've <laughs> I've seen. <laughs> well, hey there, Brewbarians. What's up? And welcome to a new series on the channel. I wanted to give a go. This is New World. You may have heard of it. It is the new game that Amazon Games Studio put out, and it's an MMO. And I thought we could give it a go and re replace Guild Wars for a couple weeks just to see how how it does. And I'm really excited to play this. I hope you guys are excited to get into it. Let's go ahead and build our character. This is the most crazy eccentric character I think I've ever seen. We are going to go male and I will pick. Let's see here. That's a pretty good face. Uh, this one. Hmm. OK, I kind of like this guy's face. What about this guy looks kind of interesting? His nose is pretty big. What's your nose like? You're your pretty normal nose. Let's do that nose skin tone. Um, maybe we go with this a little bit more more tan. Let's change the hair color. It's pretty crazy. There we go. We could go green or blue or something if we really wanted to. But I don't know, man. That was some pretty crazy or white. We could go white. That'd be fun. Let's give white a go and see what happens. See what see what it looks like in some of the hairstyles. Oh, that's hilarious. And I don't know how to feel. Maybe we could. Is there an old man face? I kind of want to. Oh, yes, there is an old man. I don't really like the look of it. Oh, dude. You know what we could do? I think this game to me screams. I, OK, we're going to go with this face, I think. And then this face actually screams if I can find a hairstyle that matches it. OK, this might be good. What if we if we go with black and then do they have Oh, they have some glorious chops? Oh, this is so I'm go. I'm thinking like founding fathers type of feel oh yeah that's hilarious it will not feel like normal at all but what's this beard look like well that looks pretty good i am i'm i'm digging this though i'm digging this what's that look like with our og face dude okay so you know what i'm going for here do they have a ponytail long hair let's see um what is this? Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. So what I'm going for, this looks like a little bit like Lucian, Lucian, I believe, from Fable 2, the main bad guy. I think that's hilarious. Go with some red eyes. Nah, I you know, the red eyes are always interesting to me, but 
I never can get on board with him. Let's just go with some like piercing blue eyes. I think that could be good. Freckles, it looks like. Yeah, some freckles, some scars, some, I don't know what that uh, skin, uh, I guess it's a skin disease. I don't know what that is, what it's called. Scars, nah, tattoos. Well, how, let's go black. And then let's see, how crazy do they get? Okay, they can get pretty crazy. I honestly I always kind of stray away from getting like tattoos on the face and stuff. If I could do it on my arms, sure, like our Norn and Guild Wars. Yeah, I think this is good. Let's make sure there's no crazy beards that we're missing out on. Yeah, I don't really think so. So let's just go ahead with this. We'll go with the Pixel Brew. Nice. Create character. Yes. Hello, Lucian. This is awesome. Uh oh, what's happening? Well, that's no good. Somebody decided to blow up our boat. I survived. How nice. Move with WASD. Okay. Cool. Well, hello, Captain. Whoa. What in the... Okay, X to draw a weapon. So we can block. Right mouse. Cool. Attack. This is a really sick way of teaching you how to do stuff. Dodge. And then a... Oh, a strong attack by holding. That's a really cool way of doing a tutorial. Hey, Captain. You... Come closer. Your captain needs you. There's something wrong. I'm not feeling right. Uh, well, what happened? That devil storm. What in the nine hells was that about? And where is my box? I need my box. Did you take it? You build rat. I don't have your darn box. Something isn't right. To come so close. It's not fair. What, what's happening to me? I can't die. Not like this. We all die, Captain. Oh, well, okay, we don't all die like that. That's... That's unfortunate. Oh, we got a shield. Okay, we can drag this here. I like the user interface. What's this? Light ration. Consume the light ration. Oh, that's fun. Even though it's a uh, meat, I ate a piece of bread. Okay, so escape the ship graveyard to look for your crewmates. Jump. Okay, that <laughs> is this really terrible jump, but that's okay. Okay, we got a drowned guy. Ooh, you do a spin attack on your third hit. That's good. Combat feels pretty good. Feels pretty impactful. Like it doesn't. I, I have not. Uh... Oh, please. There. Ooh, that guy. That guy hit pretty decently. I. I've never. I've not really played a like con with a combat system like this. I guess this is similar. Oh, I tried to poke him. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and die. Oh, cool. There's climbing in the game too. That's nice. The running seems a little strange. I feel like I should be going faster. Well, this guy's got a shield. There we go. Okay. Uh, to purchase upgrades. Okay. Whoa, this is cool. Hatchet, rapier, great axe, warhammer, spear, bow, musket, life staff, ice gauntlet, fire staff. That seems interesting. All of these seem interesting. Hmm. Whirling Blade or Shield Rush. Cooldowns 20, 15. Let's go with the Whirling Blade. Okay. What's this do? Oh, I spin on my toes like a little ballerina with a sword. That's cool. Auto run. And I can traverse automatically. Why is it set to the equal sign? That seems kind of weird. 
Whoa, this is really, really pretty. Whoa, we've got some Breath of the Wild over the hill action. I swear every game that is now like this like open world concept is doing this. I mean, this is pretty a pretty sick shot, but it's still it's just like, oh, Breath of the Wild did it and they were successful. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, this looks not good. Not sure how to feel about. Ew. Ew. Oh, falling down. Oh, I don't like this. Yeah, I don't. That's the. Are you the captain? Y yes, you are. Uh, hello, hello, captain. Uh, uh, oh, oh, captain's exploding. Some, something's hat. Oh, captain, captain, my captain, you are angry. You would have been better off dying at sea. Cool, you can dodge underneath. Ooh. Whoa. That, oh. Okay, so we just got him down to half health. The combat does feel really good. Also, I want his sword. Uh, that seems a bit unfair. I can't do that. I can't float in the air and shoot beams from my sword. I'm not a mesmer. That's a class that I should try in Guild Wars too. Just thinking about it. For these circles. Flint. Ooh. Okay, so there's there is like resource gathering. I've kind of I've watched a few videos and stuff on this game just to get a general content like context on it. And it does seem like it is. Got some like crafting oriented stuff. Investigate the watchtower. Who be you? Where? Interesting. What is this? A weather eye. Oh, cool. This is like journal entries. A weather eye found in the first light watchtower. If I didn't know better, I'd think something was controlling these storms, as if they know what a ship is approaching. Being stationed on this beach, I've seen dozens of them spin up out of a clear blue sky something might mighty strange is going on here and there's four pages oh okay cool you so you have to there's like chapters that you have to discover on your own cool what's this found ah okay so this is that same chapter thing Oh, and you get experience for discovering these. That's awesome. That, I love it when a game does that. 17 drowned today. Minor damage to my armor. We'll need to repair after this report. Spotting more of them grouping together may indicate a change in their tactics. More today than yesterday, but the same routine. Nice. Oh, we got an upgrade. Ooh, okay. Um, I have one thing that I have seen is until I think like level 20, you can respec your character however you want. And that's pretty sick. I think we're just going to dump everything into strength for right now because it doesn't really matter until we get that high and we'll be able to respec and ch try out like all the different weapons and all that. So I don't think it matters that much. What is in this supply? Health potion, flint cartridge. Hey. Okie dokie. Who are you? Nora Lynch. A drowned rat sailor we have here, don't we? Still, better off than... Okay, that was a bug. The audio cut off. Name Who are you? Lynch. I'm down here from the First Light Settlement. Wanted to assess the impact of that storm that wrecked your ship. I'm the Pixel Brew. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Even under such ugly circumstances. Cool. We get duelists boots. Good. My feet Wherever are a little cold. From, it's lost here. This is your home now. Eternum. An isle of treacherous shores and lost memory. Nothing as it was in the old world. What makes Eternum so special? Oh, hello, other Death person. Death itself is a different creature here. And a finicky one. You've come back to life unscathed, but your crewmates and those from other ships weren't so lucky. Uh... What happened to him? They'll be wandering the beach as the soulless drowned now. Right thing is to try and put them back to rest. 
It's better if you do it. That's you just don't want to do it yourself. That's exactly what it is. Also, what is this? It's a animal, a bush. Oh, cool. We can we can grab things. Where are we going? Over here. Okay. So we need to go. We need to investigate the shipwreck and defeat three drowned. Yeah, the run animation is kind of strange. <laughs> I feel like I'm slight, like very slightly floating in place or like running on oil or something like that. I, <laughs> I feel like I should be running faster. Hello, bud. Didn't even stand a single chance. Drowned mariner. Ow. What a jerk. I love the sound. There's like a sound effect for like everything in this. And I really, really enjoy it. Ooh, that guy came out swinging pretty fast. Okay, so oh, I guess we go back and talk to her. Yeah, the jump, the jump feels bad. <laughs> I gotta say. Yeah, it's really bad. I feel like they need to make it so the jump's at least like a tiny bit more impactful or make it so like this jump that is like super small is like if you're wearing like heavy heavy armor that that's what you you jump like but if you're wearing light armor you jump taller that'd be cool task but it was the right thing helps protect the first light settlement too the drowned sometimes wander quite a ways oh we got oh i forgot we got boots we should put those on oh i'm sorry where are my manners you're probably cold, exhausted, and half-starved after what you've been through. I'll be okay. playing tough now. You need to learn how to survive out here. Gather some flint and wood and make yourself a skinning knife at the fire. All right, we can do that. We did level up. Let's go ahead and slap this in there. And then we also got some pants and boots. And that's wonderful. Um arrows i guess we can just equip those and i'm gonna put that there and so we need wood craft a flint knife at the camping table or camping something or other flint skinning knife three flint okay one and one of each oh this is cool one-handed a makeshift but functional skinning knife used to field dress most animals albeit slowly awesome Oh, sick. So there is like some, I really like th this crafting interface is really cool. Set this as our active tool. And that's good. We did it, Nora. Go. You've got an eye for this, it seems. Now it's time to make yourself a little feast. I, I, I do like food. These boars around here can be right vicious. But they make for a fine meal. Hunt one down, butcher it up and cook yourself some rations. Okay, that sounds great. My mouth is watering just thinking about those steaks. <laughs> Beats having hard tack any day of the week. Well, I will make sure to gather enough for you. Open the journal. Okay, so this is where we keep our missions. Very cool. A fine meal. Hunt a boar and cook some meat to make some rations. Okay. Ah, I see a boar right here. Don't be a boar, boar. Be my meal, please. Hello there. <clears throat> Yeah, come at me, bro. You are a big boy. Oh, and you do extra damage, it would seem, if you hit it from, like, the side or behind, like, if you're flanking it. That's cool. I do got to say, this game is very pretty looking. Like, I, I know it's, like, it's even nighttime, so I bet even during the day it's even better. Orc, rawhide. Uh, let's go, let's kill one more. I think we, we should, uh, make some for our friend. Yeah, take that boar. Take that field dress. And, uh, there we go. And I've also, I've noticed as I've been attacking the cursor, it is like you do have to aim your auto attacks. Like you have to aim your sword actually to where the cursor is with the character it's not like skyrim where you just like can hack and slash in front of you and kill things so it is a little bit more 
dexterous in that way. Hello, boar. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna kill you. I already killed your friend. Um, blowworm bait. Interesting. But I thought that was uh, that's interesting because the a lot of times you just like hack and slash in front of you, and that's it. Light ration is what we're trying to make. Let's just make the maximum because I don't think it really matters. Beautiful. And let's do that. Oh, okay, it already equipped. So we got some extra light rations. Nothing beats the smell of fresh meat on an open fire, does it? <laughs> I'm starting to get right hungry myself. At any rate, now you can at least feed yourself. <sighs> You'll be wanting to visit the first light settlement yourself soon enough. But there's more work to be done here first, after that storm. People don't die here? Right strange, isn't it? Something in the island. This blue Azoth, you see. That's what brings us back. It doesn't always work, though. Some people have died. We're still, some come back lost or corrupted. Why is the storm that such storm a problem? That storm corruption. Pure evil. Takes out any ship approaching, and any tries to leave. But this one today was the worst I've seen. Your ship was just one of many to get smashed, and we need to check each of them. What are we There's looking for? First light to keep record of all the shipwrecks on this shore. A memorial of sorts. Go on out, look for any legacy items you can scrounge. If there is any corruption lingering, steer clear of it. Ooh, okay. Treated wood bow is our reward for this. Nice. We did we read you? I think we did. I think this is the one we read. Yes. Okay, so we're going out here. Grab a little bit of flint on our way. I really hope that we get a new weapon of swords. I think that would be pretty darn. Because I, I really just want to experiment. I'm kind of thinking the great axe sounds really fun. And that frost gauntlet could sound really cool. Yeah, take that, bro. Come at me. I do like... I like the, like, leveling up sound and the experience gain sound. Ooh, Drowned Sailor. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Take the supply stock pile. Please don't attack me. Please. Ooh, we got some armor. And we got mastery. Okay, let's do this. Put some more in strength. And we got weapon mastery. We can do a reverse stab. We could do a shield rush. Knocking foes back. Uh, let's go with the sword. And do the backstab, maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Upgrade available for the map. Uh, let's open this guy. Common cloth shirt. Okay. That's a dress. I don't want to wear that. We can put a helmet on. That's good. And then... This gives gear score 104, 37 armor rating, 49.6. Okay, so against elemental. Oh, you are an absolute jerk. Take my backstab, you jerk. Okay, let's get to some place that is a little bit safer. Oh. I think that guy may run after me too. They really do trigger. Okay, let's. Okay, let, now let's put this on. What is this? Weak solvent. Okay. So this gives 28 and 28, and this gives 37.49. But it's medium, and this is light. For now, let's do this. Oh, that looks pretty interesting. Low worm. Okay, so it's just fishing bait. Cool. Okay, cool. So we need to get these things here. Well, that was fun. It like made him stumble. Come at me, bro. 
dead. Kane's Captain's Log. Day one. Today we set sail for what may be but a legend. The land of Eternum, spoken about in whispers, has long fascinated me. The crew knows what they're getting into with this expedition, and that and that is that we may never find the island at all. We have enough provisions to last us several months at sea, which will allow our search to go unfettered. Skies are cleared today, and morale is good. There's three in here that we can do. Okay, so that was a ship's log. Let's find some more stuff over yonder. Go in here. Oh, we can. Very good. Okay, so this must be Kane's roster. Okay. And oh, hello. Absolutely wrecked, son. Get destroyed. Yeah, I really like the combat in this. Take that. Take my love. Nice. Yeah, I would love... Can we climb up here? No. Okay, and then where's the other one? This one is over... Ah, right here. And 20 crates of non-perishables. Search shipwrecks for records and remnants. Where? Okay, this way. Around the mariner. Let's keep on going. So we're probably going to that shipwreck now. Be great. Bliss blunder. What? Why are you coming after me, bro? I like the back how the backward stab is so unnecessary. <laughs> like it, it if it was me that was actually doing the backward stab, I think I would actually Ooh, that the critting was pretty good there. We did a lot more damage. But if I was doing the backward stab myself, I think I would actually accidentally stab myself entirely. Alright, let's get this. Ship's locker. Very good. Cool, we got that. Anything else around here? Oh, there's some can. Oh, what's this? Supply stockpile. Taking a while. Oh, we got a hatchet. Interesting. There we go. Get on up here just because. Let's try out the hatchet. So it does 74 damage. This does 92. So the sword does do more. Territory standing. What is this? First light. Standing gain, experience gain, gather. So you get gathering speed, ex more experience. Let's do the experience. Oh, gosh. I had a burp incoming. Let's do the experience because I think getting... Oh, good. This guy uh, is here. Oh. The axe actually feels really good. You you do you hit pretty quickly actually. Ooh. Oh, so you cannot use the uh, you can't use the shield with it. Oh, okay. We didn't get rid. Of it. Hello. Nice. Oh, we're so close. Let's kill one more because we are we are right there. Right there to leveling up our hatchet skill and getting it actually getting an ability. Yeah, all so far the, these two weapons have been really good. Hey there, drowned sailor. How's it? Going? Nice. Uh, also, let's eat some food and level up our hatchet. Triggers a Berserk mode that increases all attack damage by 20% while active. Berserk mode will be active for 12 seconds. Cooldown will trigger once Berserk ends. Taunt gem compatible. Okay, that's if you have a Cornelian, whatever. This is a sprinting melee attack that causes the player to leap forward. Then this is throw an axe, dealing 110 and applying rend, reduces the target's damage. 
This is thrown axes are now capable of triggering headshot or random critical hit. Let's do this. I think that sounds interesting. Um, okay, good. And we're now full health again. So it looks like we're going to this shipwreck. Man, yeah, the world design is pretty phenomenal, I gotta say. Like, I am... Ow. At me, bro. Ooh, yeah, the hatchet is really fast, and I like it. I'm liking the hatchet. Cool, I like the berserk mode. Got six seconds more on on it. Let's keep on going. So we're going up here. Looks like we're grabbing something. I don't know what. Oh, ship's flag. Okay, we're grabbing the ship's flag. Okay, we're going here, and then we need to go to the other side. Get on up. I wonder if the enemies can climb. Doesn't really. I I, I like, kind of doubt it. Anything down here? Not that much. There were some bad guys under it. That could be. Ah, oh, there is a supply cache, so we do want to do that. Oh, cool! And you do actually you hit both of them. That's good. So if you hit, mul you can hit multiple people at once. Oh, and we got the great axe. Yeah, I really, really want to try this. You know me and two handers. Oh, I can't. OK, so the ability cannot be on cooldown. Now nah, we can't. Yeah, this looks really good. Ooh, that hits pretty hard. It is significantly slower, but it feels it feels pretty good. It certainly chunks, that's for sure. Let's see. Extend your axe and pull people or fast spinning attack that pulls targets closer to you. Let's do this one. It is Darius E if you've ever played League of Legends. This guy's gonna be. I wonder if they. I, I hope there's an ability to make it so you can uh, attack faster. Let's go back and talk to Nora Lynch. Oh, these guys are still level two. This is corruption. Okay. I do not know what that is. But she did say to steer clear of it. So we'll not. Oh, and our corruption resistance does go back up. Oh, we leveled up. Just more strength. Any weapon mastery more? Nope. We did. Didn't we get an armor thing? Oh, we have two of these. So this is worse. And then this is better, but is heavy. Give significantly more. What's it look like? Yeah, let's go ahead. Might as well. Do we, that is a tiny dodge. It's just like a, is it, does this affect our dodge? Oh yeah, this is a much, much bigger dodge just in the jumping. Oh, these'll do perfect. You've done a good turn for the memory of those ships. And for first light. I wish we could just head back to the settlement now, but we can't turn a blind eye to the truth. Complete it. Get our bow. The storm preceding your arrival filled the skies with crimson. Corruption incarnate, I tell you. Where does this corruption come from? claim to have the answer, but I don't believe them. Does it come from the dark part of a person's soul? From some vault of evil beneath the island? One thing I know for sure. It turns a 
Man, that bug is kind of weird where the audio cuts off. So the corruption's still around. Yes, and corruption's the real threat to watch for. Any trace is a scourge to the settlement. I fear some remnant may be lingering in Tide Swallow Cave. I can go I check it out. I to ask a newcomer, but you handle yourself well enough. Go take a look then. Be warned though, corruption can be right dangerous. All right, I'll accept that. And we'll go take care of this real quick. And then that can be where we call it. Yeah, this is... This feels very much if you've ever played the game... Uh, oh, shoot, what is it? Greedfall. If you've ever played Greedfall, this feels like Greedfall in terms of the, like, world design. Kind of... Kind of interesting. Can we climb all the way up there? Or is that like where you come out? And you just kind of like plop your way down. Don't know. Wait, do we have? Oh, we did. So never used the bow. So let's try the bow. We have 35 arrows. Oh, weird. Interesting. I need to figure out how to use this. Is this... Do I just... Oh, okay. I have to... Interesting. Okay, so you you have to kind of finagle it a little. You have to aim, draw the bow. Oh, man. I don't know if their AI is working or not. That was kind of a strange interaction. Ooh. Okay, so you can fire from the hip. This is a little difficult. Nice. Oh, there's a note up here. We explored some of the caves, but the chill we had felt in the Costa de los Ahogados was thick there, and we feared encountering the same spirits or more ancient spirits of those who came before us. Captain Isabella got quite angry at this, even calling us weak, but finally relented after a brief word with the heretic, who seemed to indicate what she sought must lie north of here, and that, at least, now we knew. I do not know what they seek, but I fear it will drive the captain to do something rash. I asked about the crates of cargo. They might contain valuables or even some clues to elsewhere on the aisle. Captain Isabella said we should return for it when we had more of the crew, but the cargo was not of importance now. Velasquez. Hello. Um, how are you? You are dead. At that. that is what you are. Let's go right over here for a moment. Up our axe. Charge 10 meters, dealing 120% damage when you reach at a target or press left mouse button. Ability has unstoppable, so we can't be interrupted. Reap range is now 8 meters. When you make a critical hit, heal yourself. That's cool. Light attacks with your great axe give 5% damage for 5 seconds. 3 stacks so you get 15. Hitting 2 plus targets with a single great axe light attack swing grants 3%. 3% or 3 seconds of 20% haste so we move faster. Heavy attacks with great axe now pull foes closer to you. Let's do Maelstrom. I think that could be good. Then... 
let's get this guy. Nice, we almost have bow mastery. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Oh, jeez. Cool, we got bow mastery off of that. That's mainly what I wanted. Let's keep on going. Got a captain here. There you go, stop from blocking. See what the supply cache has. Leather gloves. Ooh, a war hammer. We should definitely check out the war hammer. Um let's try it over this, just see how it goes, how it fares. Put some gloves on. Good. Oh, so this is our weight, it would seem. Nice. Okay. That's our weight. What does this feel like? It certainly is slow. It's very slow, but not bad. Take all toughened leather hands. This is better. And it is a heavy glove. We're still on medium weight, so that's good. Uh, I'm assuming when you get into heavy, that's when your dodge gets messed up. Let's do this combo just in case we need need to be able to do it. Use our axe, because we have to fight some big bad guy, I think. This looks like a, like a boss wall. Definitely do a good amount of damage. This is weird. Eruption swarm. Squish. Hey. This these guys are down here. Maybe we can get some mastery here. Almost, so that person's creepy. I'm just gonna go over here and kill these guys. There we go. Yeah, we got the mastery. Let's see, what are these abilities here? Powerful swing that penetrates 35% of the target's armor and deals 140% weapon damage. A wide swing that knocks enemies back. Okay, let's do this. Cool, okay. So, yeah, I guess we just take this Corrupting Chaplain on. Oh, you jerk. That didn't really, that doesn't really feel that pack well. Yeah, I'm not really liking this. Yeah, the axe just does so much damage, man. Oh, hello, buddy. And it's a little bit faster. Ooh, and you can... Yeah, you can... I, I, I'm liking the axe. I really want to try out that frost gauntlet, but we haven't gotten one. Ooh, a, a rapier. That could be interesting. There's a pathway that goes up this way. Let's check that out. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Let's equip this and try this out. 
Whoa. That's cool. It's fast. I I like that. Oh, there is a little supply cache thing. Yeah, that's really cool. You attack super fast with it. Iron cartridge. Didn't really get much of anything. Anything out here, or is this the area? Yeah, this is the same area. This is what I thought. You kind of just like fall down here to get back. Ah, corruption resistance, though. Get on down, and let's go talk to Nora. Well, let's maybe get rapier up. Hey, Nora. My hunch was right, wasn't it? There was corruption in that cave. You're brave to have dealt with it. Yeah, it stood no chance. First Light cannot afford to ignore this threat anymore. If corruption gets a foothold on the beach, it'll be at the settlement walls in a matter of days. Settlement should be warned. You're right, of course. The folks at the settlement should start making preparations. This could get right ugly. The constable should hear about this straight away. Should I take the message? Yes. You've done as much as I could ask down here. Give Constable Oaks this message and then take a well-deserved rest. You've earned it. Awesome. Sounds good. We will be doing that next episode. And I think we're going to play around more with this rapier. I think that could be really good. I really want to try out the frost arrow thing, but we don't have that. Or not arrow. Frost doodad. So we did level up. Now, what does the rapier use? This. So it uses dexterity and intelligence. Actually, that may be really good if we start opting into the rapier. I am liking it. Let's try respecking and seeing just real quickly how much if we just like slam it into this. How much more damage? Actually, respec and let's check out the damage on the rapier currently. 68. And if we put it all into intelligence, we then do 75. So it does do more, a significant amount more damage. And I think we're going to go with, well, it doesn't really up our, our weight that much. So I don't think that matters very much. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of New World. Let me know what your thoughts are down below of this game. And I uh, expect that this is going to take place over Guild Wars for a little while. It may even take place over the No Man's Sky, uh, just one of the videos a week, just because it's a, it is a new game and I'm, I want to play it pretty hard at the beginning. So uh, we may be doing two to three videos of this a week, and I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I am. I'm having a great time playing it. It seems really cool. World design is really cool, so a little weird on some fronts like the jump this is a not a great jump but oh well other than that it's looking pretty good so i hope you guys have enjoyed if you did leave a like in real life and i'll see you guys in the next episode of new world uh, bye bye